it was for a year you guys i listen to this in miami this you one. guys i've been sharing my content for listen a little over this. a year my story is real when it first happened you, you, you're seeing a humanoid right there i'm gonna need y'all to zoom in on some of these pictures now when i put this video together i got some old and i got some new and i gave you nothing but the best I, i'm very eager right now because let me tell y'all Look at that Bigfoot right there. Look at that Bigfoot shadow being right there. You guys, he just came here about four days ago. They look like humans, and they were wearing white glowing uh, robes. I'm like, oh, my God, this, this is angelic. Great. Well, a couple months later, I started seeing these tall, I'm talking about 10 feet, 11 feet, 12 feet, dark shadow beings. Like, it looked like a shadow coming out of this portal, you guys. That's when I stopped watching it. That's when I pulled the camera away from there. I didn't want to see it anymore. When I put the camera back, man, it was so many of them. Look at them in the alley, you guys. Look at them lined up in the alley. Man, when I tell y'all, don't fall victim to the different theories that are being, they're going to try to tell y'all this is man-made. It's an illusion. People are making stuff up. The only people you need to listen to right now are the people who are fucking having the encounters. And at the mall in Miami, you guys, I've been sharing my content for a little over a year. My story is real. So let me just pause this. Let me just say this to you as she's showing you different images. Um, I'm just letting you know, my people, I told y'all before they're around you and they're more so in certain areas because they're watching as because all right y'all think the mall incident was just something just to be done no it wasn't that mall incident and i'm gonna go i'm gonna get into that was to stop something from being done this is what you don't understand that mall in miami that 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 showing as I was sitting back and I'm looking at it, every time I go to sleep and I wake up, I'm telling you, things come to me. That mall incident was not to, it was still a warning, but it was to stop something from happening. I told you 2024 was going to be the year of the false flags. So, <laughs> um, I'm going to get further into that, but I'm going to get further into that, my people. But anyway, uh, this uh, female, this uh, woman, she's have a camera that's set up. And I told you all these rural areas, especially, you know, especially where majority of these people are at. If you set your cameras up now because of the frequency that's on the planet and it's changing, um, your brothers and sisters are coming in at droves. They're all around this planet. They are observing. They are watching and they're going to. They're going to allow certain activity to take place and certain activity not to take place. Remember what I told you, this is a race against the sun. Light versus darkness. Darkness want to keep you dark and not see the light. And light is saying it no matter what you do, they are going to see. So darkness want everyone to either be completely dead or physically dead, not just already mentally dead. They want people to now become physically dead, the downside, so they don't see the light. The light is saying, nah, we're going to let these people stay alive and live with the light, the truth that is going to be shown. That's why I'm trying to explain to you that Miami incident wasn't an incident. It was a warning, yes, but it also was something. To, it was also to stop something from happening. That's what it was. So if you understand and overstand, I'm going to go further into this later on. Especially with that latest video that Mr. MB33 did show, the show that I have been telling y'all for quite some time. They, you, the bigger ships are here and they, it is happening. Abundance and gratitude to you all.